Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express channel. Uh, today uh, we are going to discuss one of the important interview question in Spring Boot. What is the difference between at the rate component versus at the rate bin? A lot of students, there is a confusion about these two annotations. Today, let me clarify with a couple of points and small demo as well, so that it will be easy for you. Guys, if you like our videos, please like, comment and uh, subscribe our channel, guys. Okay, so let me go to the slide. Yeah, what is component? Why we need a component? Guys, component is a more generic stereotype annotation to manage a, <coughs> any component by the Spring framework. Like if you want to represent any Java class as a Spring Bean, then we can use at the rate component. Yes, we have other uh, annotations as well at the rate service, at the rate repository. But this is a more generic way to represent your Java class as a Spring Bean. This component annotation we can apply on the class level, not on the method level, guys. Okay, remember this point, even I will show you the demo also, how IOC container, uh, if you apply at the rate component, whether the object is created or not. That is the concept of at the rate component only. And we have another annotation called at the rate bin. Why we need at the rate bin means like uh, this annotation is used to create custom objects. If I want to create any custom object which is available in another library, then I need this at the rate bean annotation. Whenever you apply at the rate bean, immediately IOC container will execute your method. At the rate bean annotation, we can apply on the method level, not on the class level. Remember this point. You can ask me hey, to create a custom object, assume that thing like a suppose employee department these are also a custom objects right why can't i use uh, at the rate bin why i should use at the rate component i will clarify with a small example so that it will be a more clear for you if you have any uh, questions please leave your comments in the uh, comment box so that i will clarify with you Okay, let me open our uh, small application. Just I created one dummy project inside the pom.xml. I have two dependencies, just one of the dependency called a security dependency and as well as the starter hyphen security and as well as starter hyphen web. Now here, if I have assumed that this is my employee object, normal Java class. Now, if you run this application, just if you run, this employee will not execute. Why? Because you need to create an object. Instead of you creating, IOC container will create the object if you apply at the rate component annotation. Just observe here at the rate component. Let me run this application. Run as Spring Boot application. Just you can observe in the logs. <laughs> Ignore about uh, security dependency. Uh, there is a use case why I added that part. See, default employee constructor. Okay, at the rate component is clear. Now assume that now I will comment it here at the rate component. Another way I can create this employee object by writing a method. See here, public employee get employee here. Now I can create an object, write a new employee here. Just if you written this piece of code, IOC container will never understand what this method. Now just observe here. Right click, run as Spring Boot application. Now uh, see here, application failed to start, that's fine. See, default constructor is not invoked here. Why? Because IOC container don't know about this method. If you want to give instruction, this method execution given to the IOC container, then you need to apply at the rate bean annotation. Then container, IOC container will create your employee object as well. Now to create the employee object, see default employee construct is executed. Now the question come to the picture, uh, we can able to achieve at the rate bean at the rate component, then when I should use. Normally if you have a, your POJO classes everywhere, we will use a different kind of annotations or at the rate component as well, we can do that. When this specifically used means, suppose we add as a Spring security library. Now, like I have a method called 
decrypt password encoder. This is assume that some password encoder class. This particular class available inside your security library. It is not in my package. Under com.java express, I don't have this object. But this object creation, I want to give to the IOC container. I cannot apply at the rate component on this class. Why? Because this class is already available inside the library. In that particular use cases, if you want to initialize any security configuration classes like a Rust template, web client, uh, bcrypt password encoder, or any authentication manager classes, if you want to represent okay, B level, then at the rate bean annotation you need to apply here then object creation taken care by ioc container wherever you apply at the rate bean this class i can auto wire inside any any java class that is the advantage of using at the rate bean and at the rate component component is a generic and it is a class level and bean is a uh, more specific to method level annotation to create custom objects Hope everyone is clear. If you like this session, I'm expecting a comment in the comment box, guys, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.